box plot hint cards. This video is designed to help you follow along with your hint card posted about box plots. When you think about a box plot, you should know that it is a graph located on a number line. There's a box in the middle and two lines that come out that kind of look like whiskers. Since the graph is on the number line, the first thing we need to do is make sure our data is in order from least to greatest. Once we put our data in order from least to greatest, we will find the median of that data. Let's remember that we cross out small and large until we find the number that is in the middle. In this case, the middle number or the median will be nine. The nine will be represented in the center of the box plot down below with this line. The median splits the data into a lower quartile and an upper quartile, or lower numbers and higher numbers. We're going to look at the lower numbers first. We're gonna find the median of the lower numbers. These numbers are located to the left of the number 9. We're going to go through, cross out, and find the number that's in the middle. Again, in this case, it is 4. And it will be, it will be represented by a line on the left-hand side of the box down here. Now we'll do the same with the upper numbers. We will find the median of the higher numbers. And those numbers will be found to the right of the number 9. So again, go through the process to find the number that's in the middle. 14, and this will be represented by the line or the right side of the box in the graph. The fourth piece of data is the minimum. The minimum is just the lowest piece of data that we have, and the maximum, which would be the highest piece of data that we have. Both of those are represented using a dot on the graph, and then the whiskers or the lines come out from the box. Once all five pieces of data are represented on your graph, the graph begins split into four pieces. These are called quadrants. Quadrants stands for four. Each quadrant represents 25% of the data that is in our data set. Now we're gonna look a little bit more closely at the center of the graph where the box is actually located. To set up the box, you're gonna make the line for the median, you're gonna make the line for the lower data median, and the line for the upper data medium, and then you can go ahead and close the box out. From there, you identify or mark the maximum and minimum with those whiskers or the lines that come out. The inner quartile is the part where the data is located inside this box. This is 50% of the data, and we call this the IQR, which is the inner quartile range. Range, remember, means the distance or we subtract from one number to the next. Inside this, we go from four to 14, so the range is 10. Here's a snapshot of all of the notes for the box plot you could pause and look at. Now, what happens when we have data and there are two numbers in the middle? We've learned from finding median, we find the middle number. You can find the average or you can locate the middle number, which in this case is 10. But how do we separate that data whenever we are doing the lower and upper quartiles? Since 10 is our median, we actually are going to include the numbers that we've circled. So 9 will go with the lower data set, and 11 will go with the upper data set. Now we'll find the median for the lower and find the median for the upper. Again, two numbers in the middle, 5 is the center, two numbers in the middle, 15 is the center. Thank you for watching.